tomorrow the swell moves in, so. This way. Let's follow his tracks, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. What's that? <laughs> Wild and free, maybe we could dream farther than our eyes have ever seen. I don't wanna grow. Mum and me doing our favourite thing to do when there are no waves. But most days here we had waves. And here's Mum doing her thing. The old man goes alright too. You'll never guess the places that I've been. you never guess the places that I've been. Everything is like a dream, yeah, but only in that dream that I live in. I'm never gonna let the day begin. Never gonna let the day begin. Cause everything is like a dream, yeah, but only in that dream. When the tide comes in and the reef has plenty of water on it, it's when me and Taj go out and rip it up. Me up before you go. And I'll just make this bed my home Oh darling, please just let me sleep Give me my dreams The waves we've had here have been incredible and we've all had so much fun. Days of waves and going ashore when we needed supplies of fresh fruit and veggies. We've just come ashore, we're going into Ningxi's house uh, to say goodbye because we might be leaving tomorrow. We're looking, there's a bit of a weather window. Um, before the big swell comes in again so we may be heading off tomorrow afternoon so we thought we'd come in and say goodbye but um yeah we ne you never know we could still be here <laughs> we're unpredictable we'll go and see Ningxi and say goodbye just in case we do a runner so we're at Ningxi's place and she's feeding us up as usual Thank you so much, Ningxi. Your love and kindness that you showed us while we were visiting your home was incredible. And we are so grateful we met you and your beautiful family. Sumpa jumpa lagi. So the boys have gone over to town today to try and fill our gas bottle up and get some fuel. Because we could be leaving any day now. And Bella and I decided to do some craft with some shells that we've collected along the way. So Bella's drilling holes in all of these shells and I am just taking some labels off the some glass bottles that we've got to recycle all our bottles and I was editing and that was about all that's going on this morning we didn't know it at the time but this was our final surf here with our mates Ollie and Alana of Sailing on Paradise The mo this morning uh, we are regrettably <laughs> leaving our favorite spot where we've been for a few weeks surfing every day and had a great time but it's time to move on and uh, Lee's gonna show you why we're why we're leaving so what Lee's looking at is the swell okay so we've had about up to two 
2.5 meters in where we are and we had some really big waves in our anchorage. We've now got around five meters coming in, seven meters off the coast of WA. We've got a little window today only to get in the lee of uh, Sumba on our way to Komodo. So as you can see as the Tomorrow the swell moves in, so we want to be well and truly in the lee of the island here and get up into Komodo. So we're to get rolling at 7.30. Um, day sail, we should be behind the lee by this afternoon. To here? Yep, to Rincha, which is the bottom of Komodo. Komodo Island's over here. So there'll be lots of dragons, lots of diving, mantas, everything. So there's that little window today. We're going to get moving. Before we get some really big waves in here it's been uh this swell's been backed up by three pressure systems and i think it's uh the biggest i've seen in 10 years so we're gonna get moving been here for a little bit long we were here a bit long the one thing i've rotated our uh, little inlet for the chain here it was out here and the anchor wind setup was a bit wrong from the start, but it doesn't skip now, so I'm pretty happy with that. It's working really well. We pulled anchor and headed off, said goodbye to our friends on Paradise that we will see again soon, and started our journey to Rincha. I slept all night on a big white ship. Seagulls were dancing all around. I woke up with sunrise on the I sea. just pulled my tooth out. And another two. So it looks for you when I smile. No, nah, it's beautiful. The sun's going down on our first night. Oh, it's a little gonna, bit chilly. Shouldn't it be two nights, you think? Um, I don't know. We're we're uh, only doing like three knots at the moment. There's hardly any wind, but we've been very conservative with our fuel, so. It may turn into another night unless the wind picks up. It's predicted to be 15 knots. <laughs> it's <cold. laughs> We had a good sail today. Yeah, we had a good sail. We had nice 15 knots from behind. It's just as the sun's gone down, the wind's dropped out. As usual. The yeah. swell that's coming. So that was the main goal for today. We're behind the island now, so... We're on the lee of the island, protected from the big swell. The big swell was due to come in tonight, late tonight, so yeah. we just wanted to be up high enough away from that. I reckon we're about an hour out still, being safe, but there's no rise in the swell, so I think we're good. So we woke up to Wales this morning. Yeah. It was about 8 o'clock in the morning. I've just woken up. Lee did watch from about 2 till now. And there's some whales in the distance passing by. I don't know if you can see them. They're just not that close. So it's um, about 2.30 in the afternoon. We are about 20 nautical miles away from our destination. Where the Komodo dragons are hanging out on the beach waiting for us. So we're on our way to Rincha. So this should be some good snorkeling, good diving. 12, 13, 14, 15 knots behind us. And, um... We've actually, as we showed you earlier, how the swell wrapped around um, Sumba, we've actually got the swell starting to increase. It's just getting the tail end of the swell now. So hopefully we can just get out of the road of it. Yeah, that's Probably been a really calm, beautiful place. Yeah, the whole way's been really good. Good friend, I'll show you. It was like just out of seats. I'll show you soon. And then this is a really cool book. I read about three quarters of it in the last two days. <laughs> Thanks, Doug. He sent it over when he sent um, our windless stuff. And uh, it was a really cool read. About a 16 year old who just sailed the world. So, Dove. On his boat called Dove. So this is a loaf of bread that I made last night and it is, all it is, is seeds. It's psyllium husks and it's actually really delicious. And um, it's really good I woke bread. up with a sunrise on the sea. Such a precious gift to me. 
So we're awake and we're in Rincha Island. Apparently there's really good diving here, but um, the water doesn't look that clear. <laughs> so I think we're gonna go and find where we can actually go see the Komodos. So my favorite breakfast on Catalpa is making chocolate chia pudding. Your favorite breakfast is what? <laughs> what are you eating? Uh, what are you eating? Raj and Bella have never been allowed any kind of sugary cereal or anything growing up. When we come to Indonesia and someone hands them these things. And now they're hooked. <laughs> we pulled anchor and headed to another anchorage on Rincha. We could see the big swell arrived, but we were safe amongst the islands. Salty breeze and the waves. I'm out of our place. So we just spotted a wave coming through. We thought maybe we could have a surf, but a closer look and we saw it was pretty heavy. So we decided to give it a miss. There's a monkey watching monkeys. Bella spotted monkeys on the beach. Just wanted to let everyone know. How happy I am right now and how good life is right this second. I'm sitting here with my favourite person in the whole wide world and just kicking back watching the sun go down. The kids are on a boat over here. Some other kids, kid boat came over earlier and said do you want to come over and, and hang out? So they've gone over there for the afternoon. I mean this isn't the most beautiful place we've ever been but I just had a really overwhelming feeling of like gratitude. I just wanted to share with everyone. And I just hope everybody feels this way about their life at some point, about what they're doing and, and know that it's possible just to wake up every morning and just to be stoked on life. Because I am right now. Got a full moon up there. Full moon? The Komodo dragons roaming the shores here. We haven't seen any yet. Got no kids on the boat. They've just met some kid friends. Yeah, that's real nice. It hasn't happened for a while. No. <laughs> um, it's always good for them. Just though. made a gin and tonic for Sarah. Rice crackers and we Rice got, crackers. The kids are going to kill us because we're eating them without. <laughs> a little without bit of tuna, mayo. Is. Bit of fish dip. Mm. Tin tuna because we can't catch any fish here. Yeah, we just wanted to share our afternoon and we're having a very nice time. I think we're going to move on tomorrow again because yeah. it's not our cup of tea here, is it? No. Clear water is what we're hunting. We're towards Komodo tomorrow. Find this pink beach everybody's talking about and see what's Have a look at a dragon around. or two. It's just saying to Lee, you can never capture the sunset. It never looks as good when you put it on film or you try and get a photo. He goes, you watch, you watch me. <laughs> he's, uh, he's trying to capture it. <laughs> you gonna show us your photo? Oh, magic, look at that, hey? <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> it's dark and look at the light I've just pulled into oh, that picture. It's just incredible. Oh, that is nice. Hey, look at that. Well done, man. Bit blurry, bit bright, bit light, bit dark. The next morning, Lee and I were up early. So the kids are still in bed. We just thought we'd come over and quickly fly the drone because I think we're going to move on today. Thought we'd show you these, this place from the sky. Tried to fly the drone yesterday, but it was wigging out, saying it needed some collaboration or something. Collaboration? Or calibration? Oh, calibration. Something to do with the vision sensors, but. And luckily Lee caught it twice. It just wouldn't respond to the controller. He's <laughs> a bit scared now. Yep. Good, thank goodness.
bring out the sun. Thanks, lost the display on the um, phone. On his controls? There's always something. This drone is a problem. You just hang there. No more problems. Lee managed to land the pesky drone back to safety when we met a French man looking for dragons. So we saw no dragons on this beach. But this guy said he's seen some around the corner, so let's go check it out. So we're still on the hunt for the dragons. Where are the dragons? Elusive dragon. So we found some bigger tracks over here. There was small tracks on the other island. These ones are bigger. Let's go hunting. Not hunting, we're just going to look at them. Hopefully, I just want to have a look. Yeah, it's a big one. It's a big mama. It's a big mama. It's a big mama dragon. Grab a stick. <laughs> Arm yourself. Look, these are fresh. This is so fresh. Oh, that's just come along. Which that's way is so going? fresh. This way. Let's follow his tracks, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. That's a deer. deer. Going for a little drink. Oh, the Komodo might have eaten him. Two of them. That was big, but lucky we're not flying the drone. Wow. Oh, they're fighting. Or mating. A little bit of kinky eagle. <laughs> little eagle style. The size of their wings. Yeah, big eagle. Wow. A friend we just met was yelling at. I thought he might have seen a dragon. So we'll continue our search. You don't have a stick yet, mate. What I are you going to do when one, one comes and yet. attacks us? There, he, look, he, where did those... He, it ended. The tracks ended. Yeah, it went into the water here. He swum. He's gone across here. Swam off. Oh, he's gone there. Or he's gone over here. He's gone over here. I've got a feeling. Let's go. Let's go this way. Use your tracking skills and find him. Her could be a big lady. But the dragons were shy. We kept looking, but had no luck. They're all hiding. There's still no sign of the elusive Komodo dragon. What's that? I thought you were a snake. <laughs> this island is host to uh, five deadly snakes here. One being a cobra. Yeah, it wasn't a snake. Six. It wasn't a snake, guys. This poor beast may have had an encounter with the Komodo dragon. Poor bugger. What kind of animal was that? Just da -da -da -da. <laughs> well, we might not have seen any Komodo dragons, but it's a bit pretty. So we had no luck today. Looks like we're going to have to go pay to see them. <laughs> it was a nice morning walk though. You missed the dragons! Did you see Komodo dragons? We saw their footprints. Oh. Their tracks. That was about as much as we saw. But there were some there. The big ones. Big tracks. Over there. Monkey tracks, deer tracks. You name it. There was tracks. But no dragons. We had a poor anchor captain. Head off. So we're about to leave Rincha Island and head to Pink Beach or Komodo Island um, today. So we're looking for some clearer water and some more diving and we don't know what else. So we're gonna head off. It's not very far away. It's about 15 nautical miles, I think. So, or well, less, maybe. Lee also installed the foot switch that Doug sent over. So now we can drop the anchor safely with the switcheroo thingamajig. A button to drop and a button to lift. Old Catalpa is getting a bit fancy, don't you think? Yesterday we followed the road of the moon. We drove on there towards the coast. So we've changed our mind. We're coming to Pada Island instead. So apparently you can walk up this summit here and get beautiful views. So. We're gonna go check that out today. We'll go to Komodo tomorrow. We just had a look in the binoculars. There's a hell of a lot of people up there. So we're hoping if we go up a bit later, they might have all come down. So join us next time as we explore the beautiful Komodo Islands. 
So that was episode 101. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. If you like this video, put a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, guys, press the subscribe button. Yeah. Updates or regular updates on what we're doing, you can follow us on our Instagram and Facebook at Sailing Catalpa. <laughs> so from all of us on Sailing Catalpa, we hope you have a beautiful day and we will see you next time. Bye, Bye. for now. A special thank you to all our patrons. Without you, these videos wouldn't be possible. It all comes all thanks to you all. Thanks to y'all.